We got it. Oh, okay. Okay, then I'm gonna ask. All right, I think we're live. How's it going, everybody? Can everybody hear us? Hopefully, we're going live here. I want to make sure I'm going to get real close to the webcam. And I'm going to make sure we're doing good here. It looks like we're doing good. All right. So, welcome, everybody to the first ever Burnsville Blaze Invitational Speech Tournament Award Ceremony. My name is Derek Tano. I am one of the co-head coaches for the Burnsville High School Speech Team. And I'm very, very proud to be here on this day before Valentine's Day, this very cold day during this very odd year and hosting our first ever tournament. Um, we're gonna get right into the awards here. We have some thank yous to go through, but thank you all from the bottom of my heart for coming out and supporting the Burnsville High School Speech Team in our first year. Um, so to begin, we want to start with a thank you. Uh, our thank you goes out to, first of all, all of you for competing today. Um, it means a lot to us that you guys came, even if it's virtually, that you guys took the time out of your day to compete with us in all four rounds, and you gave it your best today. Um, we want to thank our building administrators for allowing us to, to host some of the tournament here and being very cooperative with us as we try to figure out all the tech issues and, and how, the, how to navigate an online tournament. Uh, I want to thank also our Burnsville High School coaching staff who are truly, they are fantastic. Um, they deserve all the praise in the world. I work with some of the most dedicated and driven coaches in the speech community, and I could not be more proud of this team's coaching staff. They are truly fantastic. Um, I want to give also just the biggest, warmest thank you and hug to the Minnesota speech community in general who have been so supportive of our new team and of our growth over these last three years and of us in this tournament. So to all of you who are listening to this today, seriously, Burnsville speech is Minnesota speech. We, we love you guys and we thank you so much. And I would be remiss if I didn't also go and give a big thank you to our booster club and our dedicated parents on our team who show up and put in the work and help us get what we need every year. Our booster club is, is absolutely out of this world. Um, much like our team at Small But Mighty Man, like our booster club is awesome. So thank you to them. And to our families in general, too. Thank you for, you know, putting up with the cold drives into the school in the morning and for getting your kids all dressed and for getting us just just out and competing. So thank you to our families and to everybody who has been a part of the Burns High School speech team and our growth over these last years. So thank you guys very much. Specifically for today, I wanted to get some thank yous out there to a couple of people in, in, in recognize them by name. Um, I want to give a big thank you to uh, Yatesh Singh from Lakeville North and Jen Basie from Lakeville North and Emma Johnson from Lakeville North. You guys really, really were home run, home run swingers for us today. Um, Yatesh and, and everybody's help. It was just, it was just something that we couldn't, we couldn't do the tournament without you guys. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, I need to then give a big thank you to my other co-head coach, Catherine Ryder, who seriously, she's been rocking it all week. And actually, I mean, forever really with all of our speech organization, but just really, really buckling down and getting things organized for this tournament. And I think it's gone pretty well. Um, I want to thank all of our coaches at Burnsville, Colin Moe. I want to thank Brendan Klein, Aaron Klang, and Felisa Sasky. All of you guys truly are, are the best in the business, and I love you guys. Um, again, I got to thank our Booster Club for everything. And I also want to give a big thank you to the building custodians who've let us set up here and kind of do this odd thing during COVID. So thank you guys, too. So without any further ado... Let's get to let's get to why we're all here and let's start talking about you guys. So let's talk about the students. Let's see who's got some awards at the first ever Burnsville High School Speech Tournament. So we're going to start with our creatives. Our tournament is going to work, as I'm sure many of you know, where we've done four. Everybody got four rounds and we are breaking from those four. There is no final round. We're breaking from those four. And instead of awards, what we'll be doing at our tournament is the top three finalists, whether they be novices or whether they be varsity, will we will donate to a charity of their choice in their name so that way they can truly live up to the Burnsville High School slogan of have something to say and to use their voice to do good in the world. So for our creatives, our finalists today, in sixth place from Bloomington, Kaylee Tan. In fifth place from Burnsville High School, 
Katie Pearson. In fourth place, from Lakeville North, Benjamin Ganya. In third place, from Wyzetta, Ben Yu. In second place, from Bloomington, Nora Zashki. And in first place, your champion, from Lakeville North, Ellie Sayers. And our non-advancing novice finalist, Siham Ibrahim from Burnsville High School. And that's it for our creatives. Now we're gonna move on to our discussants. Hello everyone. In the category of discussion, in sixth place, from Wayzata, Kampal Kumar. In fifth place, from Wayzata, Asa Tarana. In fourth place, from Lakeville North, Laura Harrison. In third place, from Lakeville North, Alexa Ragjiram. In second place, from Wyzetta, Gracie Patel. And your champion in discussion from Lakeville North is Dylan McKenzie. And our non-finaling novice is Tam Lloyd from Bloomington. Now for our dramas. In sixth place from Burnsville High School, Yakuno Yoma. In fifth place from Burnsville High School, Kylie Crick. In fourth place from Wyzetta, Yasashri Singh. In third place from Burnsville High School, Zoe Lewis. In second place from Park, Aliyah Freeberg. And your champion from Wyzetta, Prem Priam Ganeshan. And our non advancing novice from Lakeville North, Marco Benavidez. And now for duo. In sixth place, from Maple Lake, Delaney Haglin and Natasha Lodermeyer. In fifth place, from Maple Lake, Katie Hagen and Avery Colhamain. Col and in fourth place, from Norwood Young America, Jenna Flatta and Paige Luck. In third place, from Norwood Young America, Erica Mork and Avery Luck. In second place, from Norwood Young America, Peyton Tides and Haley Buckington. And your champions in duo, from Maple Lake, Jake Hayes and Hope Jude. Your finalists in extemporaneous reading. In sixth place, from Burnsville High School, Emma Martin. In fifth place, from Wyzetta, Shreya Kakad. In fourth place, from Bloomington, Olivia Dudziak. In third place, 
from Lakeville North, Anna Rancini. In second place, from Lakeville North, Venus Zhang. And your champion in extemporaneous reading, from Park High School, Alyssa Fisher. And your top non finaling novice in extemporaneous reading, from Wyzetta, Zafaya Zanam. Next, our finalists in extemporaneous speaking. In sixth place, from Maple Lake, Grace Fritz. In fifth place, from Burnsville High School, Nora Selby. In fourth place, from Wyzetta, Krishna Ashok. In third place, from Bloomington, Irene Zhang. And your co-champions in extemporaneous speaking, both from Wyzetta High School, are Samai Gandhi and Harshita Somani. And our top non-filing novice in extemporaneous speaking from Wyzetta is Anush Kaka. And now on to great speeches. In the category of great speeches, in sixth place, from Maple Lake, Anna McClellan. In fifth place, from Wyzetta, Shri Gainson. In fourth place, from Wyzetta, Kavya Prasad. In third place, from Wyzetta, Dia Kayla. In second place, from Lakeville North, Shania Van Leeuwen. And in first place, from Lakeville North, Adrian Drank. Moving on to humor. In sixth place, from Burnsville High School, Yakuno Yilma. In fifth place, from Lakeville North, Ellie Sayers. In fourth place, from Burnsville High School, Zoe Lewis. In third place, from Burnsville High School, Ellie Hovde. In second place, from Burnsville High School, Ellie Shelberg. And your champion in humor today, in first place, from Bloomington, Bavia Shivaram. And our non-advancing finalist, in our novice non-advancing finalist in humor, from Lakeville North, Bobby Hurley. Our finalists in informative. In sixth place from Wayzata High School, Manasi Nagagoji. In fifth place from Wayzata High School, Asa Torana. In fourth place from Lakeville North, Caitlin Calder. In third place from Wayzata, Lacey Anderson. In second place, from Lakeville North, Caitlin Roars. And your champion in informative, from Wyzetta, Aparna Thiagarjan. And our top non-finaling novice in informative, from Lakeville North, Audrey Bowen. On to original oratory. In sixth place, from Burnsville High School, Bianca Froby. 
In fifth place, from YZ, Morgan Up. In fourth place, from Lakeville North, Jinter Pisikite. In third place, from Harding High School, Ajane Hill. In second place, from YZ, Prem Ganeshan. And your champion in original oratory from Rosetta High School, Vipra Patel. And our top non finaling novice in original oratory from Bloomington, Darian Wittet. Now on to poetry. In sixth place, from Park, Aaliyah Freeberg. In fifth place, from Lakeville North, Ankita Gurong. In fourth place, from YZ, Harshini Belamkonda. In third place, from YZ, Sakithika Vijay. In second place, from Burnsville High School, Bonnie Hansen. And your champ champion in poetry reading today, Cherie Ganesan. And our top non-advancing novice from Lakeville North, Sophia Mickelson. And now I move on to Poi, which was truly a very tough round of competition today. So tough, in fact, that we only have four people up on the final sheet. In fourth place, from Bloomington, Ellie Meyer. In third place, from Burnsville High School, Ellie Sheldberg. In second place, from Burnsville High School, Zoe Lewis. And your champion today in program oral interpretation, in first place from YZ, Prem Ganesan. There were no novice entries in Poi. Now to the category of pros. In sixth place from Lakeville North, J. Ty. In fifth place from Burnsville High School, Riley Klug. In fourth place from Bloomington, Emma Kennedy. In third place from YZ, Sektika Vijay. In second place, from YZ, Lacey Anderson. And your champion in prose reading from Park High School, Sadie Jones. And our top non-filing novice from Norwood Young America, Rachel Spates. And on to our last category, storytelling. In sixth place, from Burnsville High School, Michael Godel. In fifth place, from Lakeville North, Avery Bartlett. In fourth place, from Burnsville High School, Katie Pearson. In third place, from Maple Lake, Emily Lewis. In second place, from Wazetta, Shweta Shankar. And your champion in storytelling from Park, Caitlin Swigert. And the top non finaling novice in storytelling from Harding High School, Katie Roulard. 
And now on to our team sweepstakes. First, we'd like to give a big thank you to all of our competitors. It was great to see how much turnout we had at this tournament and we appreciate all the efforts you do every Saturday. Also, we love how our motto is, have something to say. We believe that speech is more than just about competition, it's about learning about the world and trying to learn about how to best present information in ways that everyone else can understand. And so with that, we want you all to know that your voices truly do make a difference and that though we did recognize finalists, all of you should be proud of your accomplishments today and the work that you put in. Now, the highest placing, smallest school here at the Burnsville Tournament goes to Bloomington Jefferson. And for the winner of today's sweepstakes, the school from Oops. YZ. So that's it for our tournament. This was the first ever Burnsville Blaze Invitational. We thank you all very much for coming. We hope you had a lot of fun today. We hope you felt as though your voices were heard. We hope that you had something to say today and we really enjoyed you coming. We also look forward to seeing you hopefully in person, though I do enjoy YouTube Live. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all in person next year at the second annual Blaze Invitational. So thank you guys. Thank you for coming. Congratulations to our finalists. An awesome job today, everybody. Good job. Have a great weekend, everybody.